USL Championship final is underway in 2022. It is the final domestic professional game in the United States this calendar year. Denneran trying to get in behind on loan from Seattle. 54 wins, 19 losses, 18 draws. Danger, Patino, Patino goes down, penalty! And a mistake by Danny Fondes, he doesn't trust the defenders as he comes out, 100% contact. The decision by the referee, which direction is this headed? Ball's moving away a little bit. Painter's got his chance. Painter, wide! An absolute stunning twist. Skips again, good from Gomez. Gomez will take that space. A Adenaran a on loads off the post! Dia tried to kick it away, falls toward Maloney, who scored his first as a pro last week. And he'll ricochet toward the corner flag and out. I actually thought before this on the movement, thought Adenaran had actually closed his angle down. That touch there, it moves him a little bit further away. Runner rotation, they pivot to the far side and run at least one, if not two, all the way to the back post, and then try and bring something square back across. A boo, back post, penalty, a handball. Fortunate, watch West Sharpie's right hand. Straight up, down. It's hard to argue, Mike. It's away from the body. It's Six playoff goals. No player bigger in the clutch for San Antonio in their history. Patino! Mitchell Tyner trying to bring it square. Contact with Sharpie. Class from Santiago Patino. Six goals for San Antonio. Give yourself the ability to go from A to B to C and yet still bypass some of the central locations as well. Perez brought down by Olmby who twists and fires! What a save far! He reaches out and rips it back in. It takes it down in traffic. Vision the entire time. Pure determination, if not for the goalkeeper of the year. Save of the night, that's an easy save. This may be the save of the year. Has a boo and a Denneran. It's a Denneran racing in behind. Touch dragged him wide. A Denneran, a Denneran save. Fondes, giant leap into the air and out for a corner. A ton of patience within him. Christian Prano two years ago tries to go 1v1 and instead slows the game down, picks his head up, recognizes that a Denneran is once again on that far side. This ball comes back through. Bottom corner written all over it. This is the consistency we've seen out of Denny Fondes on the backside of this in the absence of Kyle Morton. Tremendous save. He's got to get low. He's got to do it fast because of the amount of power. Mitchell Tainer, he's on the back post right now. He's marked up against Wes Sharpie. You can get cute and clung close, but congestion gets in the way. Abu, Tainter, Dameron, he scores! Mitchell Tainer, redirect back across. You just gotta execute, and they surely do. The physicality of a Denneran once again rising. Trying to dig in on Pirano. What strength and what skill. Pirano leading Abu. Abu serving Patino! The manner in which they play, the style. This is the beautiful game at its best. The turnover on the other end, the individual brilliance of Pirano. Beats two, beats a third down into the middle. You've got your center midfielder, Mohamed Abu, bumps up off the six into the eight, rotates to the outside as he come and drags space with him. Guess who? With the towers that you have on the back line, can you get it up and over quick enough is the real question. It'll be Wilson Harris! Far wipes it out. Recovered by Perez. And far this.
this time bobbled on me! Brian Ombi grabs one back for Louisville City. Marks overall in 19 games. It's a mistake by Jordan Farr. That's really simple. You come that far off your line, you go straight up. There's a little bit of momentum here from Tosh. What, what the referee's looking at is the challenge right there. Does Tosh connect that much? You got a little bit of an argument. Winder, no. Ownby, yes. There's life left yet with just side 15 minutes to go. Gone the seven minutes.